All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem 10 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 10. So I wanna find the value of this. So for my solution, what I'm first gonna do is rewrite this as 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 20 equals over 20 to the power of 10. And I'm going to rewrite this as 10 to the power of 10 plus 10 over 20 to the power of 10. So I rewrote 20, my exponent here, as 10 plus 10. Now, the reason I did that is so I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So this is an important property of exponents. And I'm going to use this on 10 to the power of 10 plus 10. So now 10 to the power of 10 plus 10, that's going to turn into, we can think of both 10, but 10 as both m and n. So this turns into 10 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10, all over 20 to the power of 10. Now, this can be written as 10 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10 over 20 to the power of 10. All I did was I just grouped 10 to the power of 10 over 20 to the power of 10 because this way I can use the property a to the power of m over b to the power of m is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, this turns into 10 to the power of 10 times 10 over 20 to the power of 10, which is equal to 10 to the power of 10 times 1 half to the power of 10. And finally, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So this is going to turn into 10 times 1 half to the power of 10, which is equal to 5 to the power of 10. So if you liked the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and also share this with any friends or family. Thank you. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 12. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's the variable I'm going to be solving for. And now for my solution. So I have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 12. And what I'm first going to do is factor out 3 to the power of x. So I get 3 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 12. Now 1 plus 1 is 2, so I get 3 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 12. So from here, we want to isolate x. And to do that, we have to get rid of this times 2 by dividing both sides by 2. So now these two cancel out. And I am left with 3 to the power of x is equal to 12 divided by 2, which is 6. So now I have in basically another equation from this much larger equation. So this is much more simplified. I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 6. So to solve this, well, we know that x is going to be a decimal because 3 to the power of 1 is 3 and 3 to the power of 2 is 9. So x is going to be somewhere in between 1 and 2. 
So we want to find the exact value of x. So how are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 6. And from here, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent in b to the front. So this turns into b times log a. So I have log 3 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 3 is equal to log 6. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 3, because again, we want to isolate x. So by doing this, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 6 over log 3. Now, what I'm going to do is rewrite log 6 as log of 3 times 2. So I have log 3 times 2 over log 3. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 3 times 2 is equal to log of 3 plus log of 2. And I have this over log of 3. So now this turns into log of 3 over log 3 plus log of 2 over log 3. And now these two cancel out. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log of 2 over log of 3. Now, log of 2 is equal to 0 0.301. And log of 3 is equal to 0 0.4771. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.301 over 0 0.4771. And 0 0.301 over 0 0.4771 is 0 0.6309. So I have x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.6309, which is equal to 1.6309. So this is my solution.